I grew up in Maynooth with my siblings and my mum and my dad was travelling back and forth. My dad's from Sierra Leone. Yeah. And when I was in my teens, we moved to West Africa. So I had like a very normal suburban childhood in, in Kildare um, in the local convent school and did all the stuff. And we went to Kyoltis um, in Kilcock and learned to play the fiddle and like tin whistle and like all that stuff that every yeah. like, suburban kids all the do. Boxes. all the boxes, yeah. Um, and listen to the Spice Girls on repeat. <laughs> so, um, then, and so that was fine. But there's obviously, you know, we were the, we were one of two black families in the whole town. So yeah. it's not like, the, you know, the elephant was in the room. It's yeah. like, what is this part of um, and of ourselves? And Ireland didn't really have a, a black community at the time yeah. when I was growing up in yeah. the '90s. So um, we moved to West Africa, and then it was like, again, another. Mm. Um, mind-opening thing where we're discovering this this ancestry and you know your DNA is coming alive um, in a different way and learning all the manners and all the the languages you know and meeting all of our family and making getting the full picture together mm. of um, what it means to be like a mixed race person. Can you tell me about the time that you stopped singing? <gasps> Okay, you want to take me back there? <laughs> I do, Annie? I do, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's so interesting. It's, it's dark, yeah. Well, um, so I trained as a pharmacist. Yeah. Um, because I always loved the sciences and I played around with being a doctor, a psychiatrist, actually. And um, I, I, but I wanted to do music as well. So, like, my CAO read medicine, medicine, music, music, music. So I was completely knew it was, it was one or the other or both. And so I put pharmacy in between them all on the form, and that's what I got. Wow. Yeah, and I, it was my change of mind. And, and I guess that decision kind of changed the whole trajectory of my life. How many years is it? So it's five years. Yeah, it's five, it's a, it's a, it's significant. A, it's significant, yeah, it's a minute. And it became too difficult to keep singing. Um, and I actually was um, given a place in Anuna. Um, Michael McGlynn was like really excited and I couldn't take it because I was like, you know, this is too busy and I have to focus. So there was about two, all, two and a half years where I just didn't do any music at all. Mm. And I just found myself on the way to work one morning bawling my eyes out. Mm. And I realised I'd been quite depressed for a, period, a while because I was crying on the way to work every day. Like, and I had a really great job and I was doing great at it as a pharmacist. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'd so have hundreds of patients, yeah. yeah, hundreds of patients a day, mm. like a salary. Mm. Like, I was a successful adult <laughs> um, who'd made it through the education system. And I was calling my dad in Sierra Leone crying, being like, Daddy, like, I don't. And he was like, it's, you have a different dream and it's okay. Because he made decisions like this in his life before. Um, so I just quit and read a load of books, poetry, went to gigs and just hung out. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I did start working again in the pharmacy part time, but I started consciously building um, songs and building uh, an idea of where I wanted to go. 